Hello and welcome to this film, The Universal Life Forces. The Universal Life Forces are a combination of both seen and unseen energies of light, which are a balance of the positive and negative, the harmful and favourable energies. The light through which we view the world resonates on the electromagnetic radiation level of light frequencies, which gives us the ability to perceive the physical world around us. Non-visible light is also present, but doesn't resonate on the physical light spectrum. Some examples of non-visible light that are always present to a greater or lesser degree are ultraviolet light, infrared light, radio waves, x-rays, microwaves and gamma rays. There is one non-visible light force that dominates all else in the universe, which is consciousness. Universal consciousness is the creator of all that exists, and all that exists resonates with the universal consciousness. The consciousness of human beings is not found or held in the mind itself, because consciousness is an abstract force. My understanding is that consciousness is held just above the aura of the crown chakra, which resonates with both hemispheres of mind, that is directly connected to both crown and root chakras. The crown chakra is the positive flow, and the root chakra the negative, which polarizes the flow of Kundalini that runs through the chakra system to earth. Kundalini is the life flow of soul consciousness, which is only closed or broken when physical death occurs, and the life force of the soul returns to its original place of creation in universal consciousness. Other forms of abstract energies and forces are spirits and ghosts which are energies that a clairvoyant can see and connect with when the vibration of their spiritual third eye is activated. For this to become a permanent faculty, the visual cortex of the logical mind has to be rewired by connecting the right hemisphere to the left hemisphere in order for the mind to first accept that it can perceive abstract energies and forces, such as ghosts and spirit beings. Other forms of abstract energies are fairies and gnomes, which are natural and important forces that are found in nature. Their main purpose is to help maintain the balance of Mother Earth. There are also four spirit elementals, which are earth, air, fire, and water. These spirits are strong forces that help to maintain the balance of each element. You can experience fire elementals by, for example, looking into an open fire and go beyond the flames. Then you may see some fire elementals dancing in the flames.
Angels are one of the most talked about abstract energies, which is in part due to the common belief that metaphysically everyone is said to have a guardian angel that protects you from harm and danger, which is when magic can sometimes happen. An important part of my spiritual development came when I connected with my spirit guide. A spirit guide is an advanced soul that has decided to remain on the astral plane to be of service to his chosen human being on earth. A spiritual guide will remain close to you in anticipation that you will establish a connection in order to seek guidance of your spiritual journey. A connection can be established when using creative visualization meditation. You can get insights into this by logging into my YouTube channel and looking for the Learn to Meditate video. When I established a connection to my spiritual guide, I was taken much deeper into exploring the realities of universal spiritual rules and laws. Over a period of four years, my spiritual guide guided me to other dimensions throughout this universe and beyond. I experienced other worlds and connected with the beings of the planets we visited. Yes, we are not the only human beings in this universe. Approximately 99% of what I have learned about spirituality comes from my experiences and the rest through studying and reading some excellent books, many of which gave me confirmation and valuable insights into the realities that I was experiencing. Experiencing abstract universal life forces is possible for all human beings to master because we were created to evolve by raising our consciousness with the tools we hold within our being. All it takes is your permission to expand your consciousness beyond the limited view that logic holds over your visual cortex, which will begin to activate the three higher senses. This requires you to direct your consciousness to cross the divide that exists between the logical left hemisphere and the intuitive right hemisphere. This can be done by creating a bridge in a meditation that will take you from the logical left hemisphere across into the intuitive right hemisphere of the brain, as is shown in the illustration, River of Life. The meditation I recommend to use for this important step is Creative Visualization Meditation. You can study this method of meditating by going to Learning to Meditate on my YouTube channel. This video explains the three steps that you can take that will naturally stimulate and activate the higher senses, particularly the third eye and throat chakra. This is when the doubt you may have had about abstract forces becomes a reality. But it requires discipline and focus for consciousness transformation to occur. I wish you the very best on your spiritual journey throughout life. 
If you have any questions, you can reach me at the addresses provided. Peace, love and light, Ralph Jenkins.